Welcome back to another Cassid game featuring Fitzy here playing as the Holy Roman Empire. He is a Holy Roman Empire main and of course my brother. If you're looking for some HRE content, make sure you go over and check out his YouTube or Twitch channel. And he is playing against running, playing as the Chinese on the northeast corner of the map. This is a Mongolian Heights, which features this river with some you never know RNG placements of a fish in the river. And I gotta say, this is not a matchup. I don't I don't even know if I have casted this matchup. You do not see a ton of HRE or China, and now we have both of them in a 1v1. So this should certainly uh, be an interesting game to follow. So looking forward to it. Now I can give you a little bit of background. I've been playing a lot of team games with Fitzy here. And he loves to do fast castle and fast imperial. And uh like to lean on those knights and of course that super strong Regis Cathedral. So we'll have to see if he does this against a rather uh defensive civilization in general from China. It might be possible for him to pull it off and look at these relics. One, two. He's got three right here on his side. Easy to pick up if he wants them. Um now approximate ranks of these players fit here is about 161 on the ladder right now versus running who is 119. So Fitzy here is technically the underdog in this matchup. So we will have to see uh, if he's able to pull this one off. Some scouting going across the field. Now Man Mongolian Heights is known for its insane sheep spawns. Let's see if we can find any of them. Uh I've I've brought in look at like look at this. Three sheep here. Uh nothing crazy. I mean, sometimes you get the most ridiculous ridiculous sheep spawns in this map but uh not seeing insane amounts uh, on this one quite yet uh so let's see uh it doesn't look like fissy here is going to be opening with any water We've got a lot of villagers on gold at the moment uh a lot on gold what is he doing with that uh doesn't like he just spent it what is he getting wait am i am i missing something look at where's this gold i thought you had maybe maybe i looked Looked at the wrong thing. He must look the wrong thing. Okay, so he's getting his spirit, getting his gold. Let's see what is going on over here for running. Running, getting his wood. He did go for a dock opening. Um, but he has this one fish nearby, but this next one's gonna be down here. Not too far, could be worse. Um, but a little bit of a of a of a paddle down river to get to that. Okay, it does look like we have a I can only assume the Aachen Chapel being thrown down. There it is. Now this Aachen Chapel. If you're not too familiar with the HRE, we haven't seen a ton of it. Let's go a few, through a few things. So they can train the prelate. You see he trained them right out of the gate, uh, which is able to empower these villagers. As you see here, they get 40% uh, gather resources 40% faster and the villagers gather 40% more resources. So he's walking around. He's uh, inspiring these villagers. And with this uh, Aachen Chapel, he's able to garrison one prelate inside this, and it gives a large area of effect uh, inspire. So you can see that. Um, so it makes it so that he doesn't have to walk around or micro this guy. So a good use. By the way, these units do cost 100 gold. And is the Holy Roman Empire after all. Here we go. A mill being dropped down on the northeast corner of the map. Uh, curious going for these berries so early, uh, whereas, you know, there are some hunt options out. I don't know if he scouted it quite yet. He does know that hunts out there. Uh, would be a little bit faster, but berries are certainly safe. And especially, I know he likes to play fast castle. Maybe he just has no interest in getting those hunts at the moment. But I think it could help boost his food gather rate. Meanwhile, over here for running. Uh, running is chopping wood, getting food, fish booming. So he's going to be aging up a little bit behind, but should probably have a stronger eco. Um, but that's, you know, not thinking about what a tree is going to have when we get into the late game. It does look like a, uh, a wall is being placed for running. So he just is trying to secure his middle from any type of man and arms pushes or anything in the second age. And it does look like he got the southeast corner walled off as well. So he's going to get a complete wall off here. But I know Fissy here style. He is not concerned. Because he is going for late game. And maybe that's just like the fear of the H2 man in arms. Man, hold on. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, what a misstep. Look at that sheep pop. Remember I told you this map can have crazy sheep spawns? Look at that. So he's got sheep. He's good to go. So just about finished aging up there. There we go. Throwing villagers back on gold. Got that prelate inside there. Getting that inspiration right out of the gate. Yeah. 
Imagine if he had got trapped on the other side of that wall with all those sheep. Meanwhile, Barbara Canada's son coming in here uh, on the, for the um, north side of the map. He'll be defending his goal and his wood. I feel like he really thinks there's some pressure coming. And maybe it's just like there's been enough terror of HRE rushing in the second age. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's able to run around. What, what in the world? <laughs> oh, you love it. Oh, how funny is that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, it's just too good. You know what's either next level? If you put your sheep right there and kill it, they can never build there. <laughs> He's doing a great job of blocking. Although, honestly, uh, he, he, he is actually training the horseman. Uh, he doesn't usually do a whole lot of writing in the second age. What is this? A junk. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. That's a big investment there. Um, but yeah, he's going to have this water line secured for now. He's got a junk out. Was able to complete the wall. Um, what's going on for Fitzy here? Uh, it does look like he has 15 villagers on food. He's got the macro for food and gold. He's going to be aging up to the castle age very, very soon. I'm not sure these horsemen are going to do anything. I see two junks now. How can this boat float at the shore water? <laughs> I don't know. But it does. Meanwhile, back at home for China. Uh, no sign of any second town center right now. You know, I say that, but I see this stone being grabbed. So this is an indication probably of a second town center. Um, He does have a lot of economy from these fishing boats. So I would say running as eco is certainly ahead. But Fitzy here doesn't care. He's going through the third age with that Regnus Cathedral. Now look at this. Going out with these scouts, I like it. So he built, I think that's why he built the stable. He's going out for the scouts. And he's been experimenting a lot lately with uh, these professional scouts and bringing back these food. Well, you know, these are 350 food apiece. So he's going to have a lot of food from these. Um, he's got a hunt here. Unfortunately, if you look at the, let's see, he does have two hunts he can pick up. So it'll be fine. Unfortunately, with this walk, it incomplete. You can't steal his enemy's hunts. But, uh... We do see that Regent's Cathedral come down. Now this cathedral, the tooltip is not correct. The relics, if you put three in here, will produce 900 gold per minute. So when you talk about trying to do a fast Imperial, I mean, that's just like over a minute's time of gold and you're ready to go if you got the food. So absolutely crazy. Um, So we sit, we have, uh, looks like a blacksmith being dropped there at home. Uh, we do have uh, the Imperial Academy uh, going down for running. So he is going for the Dynasty. Now, I don't know why sometimes the Dynasty shows up. Sometimes it doesn't. But this will make it for this first Dynasty he's going to unlock. It'll make it so his villagers produce at minus 35% train time. So as he puts down a second town center, um, you know, he's really going to have a crazy boom here uh, with this Dynasty uh, option. But he's going to be in a prolonged age 2 which may be a little bit nervous for him because I think Fitzy here is going to start... Uh, pushing aggressively as he gets honestly this gives him the time to get all of the relics he wants um this is this is the position he wants to be in he is very happy that his opponent is just sitting back okay so going out with your scouts and picking up the hunts there we go I got one down in the southeast look at that instantly pro move right here he already had his brilliance rating here comes one goal of relic back he's probably got another one going out look at this going out to get another relic now he's got a scout on his tail so he's gonna get those relics in there right away i've seen him pick up three the second he reaches this age so i think he was a little bit i'm distracted at the moment but going to pick up those relics and garrison them inside here you'll see that gold generation coming very shortly one gold inside Let's see. Watch those goals start popping up. Plus 50. Now, here's something I wonder. These shorefish are going to run out here shortly. So, but no, it's fine. Eight, eight fishing boat investment. Not the end of the world. And he can come down here and get these. So, he's got fish for a while. So, he has complete control to see. 
I'm a little nervous. If Ronnie decides to go for a bunch of demo ships, uh, that could throw a wrench in Fifty Here's plan. Now look at this. What happened with getting that relic? Did that prelate die? Oh, the junk. Oh, I didn't. I missed it. The junk stopped him from getting the relic. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is certainly a wrench in Fifty Here's plan. Oh my gosh. Going down and picking up the sacred site on the northwest corner. There's two sacred sites on this map. And uh, now we have running reaching the third age with a, a, a very strong economy. So I would be a little bit nervous. Um, I thought Fissy here would get these relics in right away. It's taking them longer than usual. Um, and meanwhile, running has had this completely uh, uncontested water boom uh, with China. And he's got these, uh, these boats defending the waterways. Um, it could be certainly uh, a scary position here. Let's we'll see. He has his dynasty uh, unlocked that uh, for H2. So he's got the faster villagers right now. We've got the, the clock tower down so he can produce uh, these uh, clock tower sprinkles, which have extra HP. And if you put the Imperial official on there, you can train them incredibly fast. We see another town center, two town centers. He's going to go for a third town. I think two town centers. That's plenty. He does have the docks as well. Meanwhile, a scout uh, contesting that sacred site, and there's nothing he can do to stop that. Uh, I think this was honestly kind of a distraction. I don't think he thought he was going to actually hold it. It's kind of crazy how much value these scouts have had uh, uh, disrupting what he's had here. Man, <laughs> this is so unlucky. This goal is just, this relic's just close enough to the water. He can't grab it. So what's he doing right now? Going, I told you, he likes to do the fast Imperial. It's almost the 12-minute mark. He is about all the way towards uh, Imperial. He's going up at the Palace of Swabia, which produces villagers. 75% faster and cheaper. So it's essentially you delay your early boom by doing a late game boom. And I think HRE kind of is uh excels at that. Uh, you know, some sales you can see like, oh, okay, he hasn't made multiple town centers. Like he's not booming, he's not booming, but he can just pull out this late game boom uh, like no one's business here. Um, and there we go. He's got all the gold. He's got all the builders. So what we'll to see how it compares to the dynasty and the multiple town centers of the Chinese player. Look at this. It takes... It cost 12 food and five seconds. That is absolutely crazy. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Villagers are coming out. Look at them go. That is just crazy. He's going to need so many new houses. You know, you don't see a ton of HR reaction. But you forget how crazy these landmarks are. I think they have the strongest ones. I mean, just these these two individually are better than most of any of their landmarks. Like, this Regis Cathedral is better than every landmark that Jelly House combined, in my opinion. <laughs> Not to mention this one, too. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so getting the goal. Look at this. I mean, I think every one of these villagers was trained in the past, like, <laughs> 30 seconds. Uh, so, crazy villager boom. We'll have to look at the villager graph after the game. It should be quite entertaining. Let's keep track. Uh, 54 villagers right now for Fitzy here versus the 72 of running. Now, running does have a lot of villagers in production. So, uh, nothing to, um, to ignore. But now, look at the score. Look at the score shift. Uh, Fitzy here is, is catching up. Uh, and then barracks uh, finally being dropped down. We haven't seen really any military out of either player other than, you know, this. Uh, and he's not, he hasn't even grabbed his relics. I don't know why he is. he not scouted this one? Oh, no. Oh, what? I don't know if that's true, but for some reason, he hasn't picked that up. He needs to get that inside the cathedral. He usually is really good at that. Okay, that scout just got put down by a bombard. So he says, you know what? I'm tired of you guarding my relics. I'm bringing bombards out to deal with you. But he could be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with clock tower bombards here late game um, as China's got plenty of eco there. Look at that. He's probably going to age up very, very shortly. Um, still got plenty of fish to be gathered. Um, has not chosen to uh, take a sacred site, but it is what it is. I thought this bombard would come down and take out this tower. Or this junk, rather. Here he comes. Come on. Do it. Do it. Maybe he's afraid what could be waiting ahead out there. I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh, no! 60 health away, and the tower goes down. Do some clock tower spring golds. 
Yeah, I, I get nervous of a late game siege. Like China's late game siege is a force to be reckoned with. This uh, this could be scary because China has had a crazy boom as well. So this could be some very intense fighting. I would not be surprised if we have a, a long game on our hands here. So I hope you popped your popcorn. You got the large Coca-Cola. What is this sheep being slaughtered by the man at arms? Target practice. Man, he needs to get these relics. Okay, there we go. I'll be honest. I play a lot of games with him. He's very good at getting these relics. I don't know why he's dropped the ball here. I mean, this is understandable, but don't know why I didn't get that one. Chat says they're craving movie theater popcorn. If you're watching this live on YouTube or watching on YouTube, we are live on Twitch recording this. So make sure you come over to Twitch and say hello. And if you're watching on Twitch, make sure you say hello on YouTube and say you were there. Maybe we should get a, uh, a popcorn sponsorship for the stream. Is that what we should do? It's bro sponsored by Orville Redenbacher. Yeah, somebody give me the connection. <laughs> What's the popcorn uh, a brand we'd want? <laughs> I mentioned popcorn. Now people are craving it. I could go for some popcorn. Damn. It's a little hard to move the mouse around when you're eating popcorn. You get butter. Butter gets everywhere. Do not recommend. Okay, so um, it's a little hard to track his dynasty since uh, uh, the UI is not showing it right now. But uh, he does have the Spirit of the Way landmark here. Buildings near his landmarks produce dynasty units at 30, minus 30% 30 of the cost. So it gives him some cheaper uh, unit production. And man, I think this is going to be a siege. I mean, look at this. He's already massing Springalls. We got bomb bars being made. This will either be like a steamroll by one player, or this is just going to be like an hour long fight at this river. I can just see it already. Man, will we see demo ships too? Get this relic. I think this is literally about to be a holy war over this relic. They want this religious uh, artifact. Garrett's popcorn is pretty legit. Gourmet. I've never heard of Garrett's popcorn. Is that in the USA? I don't think I've had that before. Oh, I'll be honest. I'm kind of like all over the board. I don't always get the same one. So I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, man, now I want some popcorn. You quit Let's who who brought this topic up? <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, these are veteran spearmen to protect uh, his siege. And man, China can just go crazy with these clock tower siege units. Many people have considered China's late game siege to be overpowered because the amount of HP on these units is absolutely crazy. So uh, I would not want to be in Fitzy here's position going against all these siege units oh did he get the relic did he get it he get it i think he got it we weren't watching yes he did look at that now he does have some cauldron uh hre does have uh, access to the cauldron which is a great option for combating um siege um which at least they have cauldron some units some uh civs do not look at this just out of range of that junk right now i wonder what his war plan is um it's gonna be curious now we look at the score right now we see uh fitzy here pulling ahead probably that ridiculous villager boom okay let's check this out uh, so we have Fitzy here sitting on 120 villagers versus the uh, 121 of running. So I wonder who got there first. I think running might have, but Fitzy here, you can see, has just, without investing all those town centers, has just matched the boom just like that. And it's also not accounting for the free gold coming in right now from this cathedral. 900 gold per minute, uh, I do understand. Okay, this is going to be crazy. Hope it, hope you pop popcorn. You might have to make sure you get the big bowl with refills because this uh this could be a siege of the ages. I would like to see maybe some walls and fits here, though. I don't know if it's gonna do much if bombards come into play. Um, but uh what is that? Taking the sacred sites just now, so it is a, a standoff. Uh in other player. I mean, ultimately a rather uninteresting game up to now. Really, like you know, nothing's really happened. They're staying on their side of the maps. Um just booming, booming, booming for what's going to be. I think they agreed that a gentleman's agreement uh, on a, a 20 minute no rush. So we're about the 20 minute mark. Maybe they're about to fight. Look at this. We've got to keep coming down defense. China's base just looking absolutely. Their, their architecture is just so cool. I always feel like when I look at China's base, I'm like, oh man, this is way harder to push into because uh, these buildings just look so awesome. Uh, meanwhile, 
I mean, Fitzy here, Fitzy here really hasn't spent much time on his base. You don't have any keeps in. He doesn't have any walls. Not much defensive structures right now. Like if running were just to run in here with Fire Lancers and start popping things, uh, it could be a little bit challenging. Uh, he only really has the, the elite man arms. Now the man arms are going to be uh, maybe one of the strongest units here for the, the Holy Roman Empire. But what's he throwing down here? Stable. So will he? I, you know what? I know what he likes to do. He really likes to spam horsemen. He always believes in outgolding the enemy. And, the, and late game, he'll make a swap over to knights. So we'll see if he masses horsemen. I would not be surprised. He loves to do that. Okay. We got two wolves uh, working in on this monk right now. Uh, it does look like uh, running has been pulling in his, uh, his relics. And there we go. Our first fire, uh, the wall going down. <laughs> first shots fired. I told you, 20 minute, no rush. About the 20 minute, 50 second mark. We had a wall shot down. I'm surprised neither player has even like poked out to be like, yeah, let's see what's going on here. Oh, look at this. Oh, the bait. The bait is on. The culverins are ready. Let's see how this goes. Now, these bombards have 720 HP compared to the 480 of the HRE bombards. And look at this. He was able to successfully kill one. A rare sight. A, bomb, a, a clock tower bombard going down. Um, now, let's see if we can do some quick math here. So we got the cauldron. It has 85 uh, cannon range plus 200 versus siege. So I do believe that's a total of 285 damage per shot. So we've got, what, uh, five of these bad boys, uh, I think. All right? Five of them? I think that's what we got. I'm on the wrong person. I can't count now because the tower. I think it's five. So somebody do the math. We'll find out. That's a lot of bombard damage. Uh-oh. But not paying attention. Here come the boys. We've got uh, spearmen, cheap units running in, and they are sieging down these rather expensive culverins. Man arms are going to do a great job at wiping this out. Um, on the back line, bombard is taking shots, and uh, China's army will get go down for the cost of, I think it was like one bombard here, and maybe two culverins. I think two cauldrons went down. I'm not sure it was worth it. Maybe he wanted to free up pop space. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. He wanted to free up uh, pop space. Okay, let's look at here just so you know the cost here. Cauldrons cost 400 wood and 600 gold versus the 400 uh, wood. And, uh, they both cost 400 wood and 600 gold. Did anybody do the math? What's the total of damage here? A lot of damage. I, I think the mathematicians up in the booth, they said uh, the cauldrons, when in this mass, exactly, they do uh, exactly a lot of damage. So, uh... Here we go here. Spring all just chilling. <laughs> Honestly, what the heck are these guys doing? Like they're not even, gonna, they're not even curious to poke. They're just like, nah, I'm sitting back. Having a good time. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no desire to cross that river. I'd wonder if we see some transport ship drops later on. Actually, it doesn't even need to. Hell, this here doesn't have any walls. Yeah, he got the university upgrade. So waiting for that. Makes sense, right? Yeah, well, look at the farms. Look how beautiful they are. Farms for days. If you guys are into agriculture, you would want to be a member in Fitzy here's uh, civilization. Look at these farms. He is ready to go. His villagers will be eating uh, well, well into the winter. So uh, there we go. Beautiful farms. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? Meanwhile, there's a whole lot of freaking nothing going on here at the no man's land. Um, <laughs> I wish there was global queue because we see like what the heck is being queued up without clicking every building. Uh, I, I would just assume. Go. Yeah. Running's just going to go for all of these uh, dynasties. Why not? He's got all this res. Look up here. Look at this. Look at this. All this res. Both players not really doing much of anything. Yeah, I don't know what the spears are for because you got mana arms. The spears ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, you can press F1. Yeah, sure. I guess we can do that. Okay, so we've got spearmen, bombards, and uh, springles versus man at arms, which counter spearmen, and culverins, which counter these things. I wonder if we'll see any of these unique fire lancers this game. We see a lot. Of, we've seen uh, plenty of fire lancer runs on landmarks recently. And there's going to be a crazy battle. You know what? I. Man, did I call us what? Of course I know my brother's playstyle, but right at the beginning I said, you know what? I would not be surprised if he just sits back, giant sits back, and this ends up being just an absolutely long game. And that's what we're going to see here. Uh, who knows how long this is going to go for. So make sure you got your gallon of Coca-Cola and Orville Redenbacher popcorn or whatever. I'm not sponsored by Orville Redenbacher. You get whatever popcorn you want. Um... 
Uh, personally, I uh, I really like the like the, the butter popcorn from that the Boy Scouts sell. It's really good. I've always enjoyed that. But it's it's you can't always readily get it, you know. One gallon of beer, <laughs> or that. Uh, you might need a refill. Greetings from Germany. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Okay, so we've got. Uh, looks like <laughs> these have been <laughs> upgraded to have a a, a cannon emplacement. Why do you think Fizier hasn't built a single wall? Does he just not believe in walls? What's the deal here? I feel like even just for like the line of sight, the walls could be nice. I guess he has line of sight with these towers. But okay, here we go. Here we go. No one has really, other than the spearman crossing the no man's land, there hasn't been really, I don't think Fizier here has crossed the middle like, with the exception of a scout the entire game. Look at these. <laughs> the Goldrins can pick off units. Look at that. Oh, oh, if this was Age of Empires 3, that would have a splash damage. Now, honestly, cauldrons are great counter to Springles, all things considered. You know, 480 HP. I mean, going up against these clock tower huge units is just absolutely scary. Pulling back. Does he have the cannon? Oh, man. He is researching his cannon placements. I think he is going to lose a cauldron to that torch damage. One goes down. Two is going to go down. I mean, that's a thousand res. That's 2,000 res lost right there. But um, Spearman, rather cheap. So an okay grab for running, but losing all the Spearman, I don't know. Didn't really achieve a whole lot. Dropping some more towers there on the back line. Is someone in chat asking if it's low yellow legend? It is not. These players are both uh, top, uh, just outside of top 100. And so uh, high level gameplay and just a lot of turtling back. Uh, just, I, you know what? This is the vibe I'm getting. I feel like. Fitzy here is used to the enemy just coming to him uh, after he sits back for all this time. And I think the China player, I think they just have similar play styles of like sit back and let the enemy come to you. And neither player is uh, is going to <laughs> to push out. That appears to be it right now. I mean, the, 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 you assume the risk when you cross the river, right? Maybe a wonder will come into play here. I think a wonder, I mean... Maybe that's what could happen. I wonder. Could happen. Trebs could break things. Oh no, Trebs will get sniped. But I think Fitzy here could afford a few Trebs. But the problem is, is pop space, to be honest. China will run out of gold first. Yeah, I think they will. Eventually. You know who won't run out of gold? By the way, while there's like a law in the battle, I know people have been asking about my coaching series on YouTube where I've been taking players' games, reviewing them, and doing, uh, giving some coaching feedback. I do it periodically, so make sure you're in the Discord. So when I'm doing that, I do raffles for whose games we get to coach um, and always looking for some 1v1s to coach uh, for that series. I've also added a perk if you join on YouTube as a member. Uh, the the third tier actually has uh, coaching included. So if you are in that member tier, I will give you coaching, whether it's on stream or off stream. Um, so check those perks out. Uh, okay, here we go. Some spearmen, some good picks. Look at this. Two springholds going down. Uh, men at arms going to slaughter these spearmen. I don't know. Oh, he tried, but he was just barely out of range. Well, that was dirty. That's a bad karma right there. Bringing in those ships on this. Yeah, I don't. That's poor sportsmanship. I think that's a penalty, guys. What do you think? Throw the yellow flag. Throw the yellow flag. <laughs> what was that? Okay, well, uh, Fitzy here pretty much uh, just annihilated the Spearmen. What's going on? Hold on! I've been, like, staring at the No Man's Land, and we've got a run of Elise Horsemen uh, running around the back line, uh, just distracting, kind of. Not doing a whole lot. How did he get in here? Uh, was there... Oh, he... Oh, he broke in right there. So he's going to be just, like, picking off the strangling resources, just uh, tying up Running's army, and maybe he can make a push in the middle while this happened, or he's just going to keep... Honestly... <laughs> is this not exactly what I said? He's going to spam horsemen. He's just going to try to uh, slowly whittle away at his opponent's resources. He doesn't mind playing an hour game, folks. Okay, what was that? So the horsemen engaging the spearmen. These horsemen will probably get mopped up, I believe, here. Uh, any action mid. We do have some cauldrons positioning. Finally, the first wall from the HRE all game. Uh, viewer in chat asking, 
how do we join a raffle for coaching session on Discord to win his next raffle? Uh, it's so when I'm live on Twitch and I'm doing coaching, if my title says I'm doing coaching, uh, that's when I'll do it. So I always announce it when I'm alive. So I, I don't really have a schedule right now for when I'm doing the coaching. So if you're trying to get in the raffle, you'll just have to uh, pay attention to those notifications. Okay, it uh, does look like uh, Fitzier was able to neutralize this Eastern Sacred Site at some point, stopping that gold production for China. And China could, although, like, look at the gold, look at the res in the bank. Fitzier, he is stocking up res for the winter. Now, re meanwhile, this would be my reason why he didn't build walls. These bombards just instantly annihilate them. Oh my gosh, is it Farmville? Well, if you look at Fitzier's base, he is indeed playing Farmville. Holy shit. <laughs> That is a lot of farms. Oh, I can't even get them all on one screen. Oh my gosh. Farmer. Okay, uh, we got these men at arms here uh, just guarding the no man's land. Palverin's taking some shots. Uh, meanwhile, we got horsemen running around just doing distraction things. He did build a stone wall on the east side. Um, I think he said, you know what? I got enough res in the bank. Let's start, uh, let's start attacking actually now. Um, and these bombard towers. Now, outposts have seen a, a lot of popularity recently with these bombard placements. I mean, these are going to be super strong at defending, and he gets slowly... A lot of players are slowly creeping up across maps with outposts. Oh my gosh, he could outpost creep with your call, Fred. Oh my gosh, if that's what he's doing. Oh, it's next level. We'll see. Getting across the river will be the hardest part. That's Look at this. He's got 10 Culverins and men at arms. He's not even making bombards anymore. Yeah, I think two traps could be worth, worth it, honestly. But it comes down to pop space. So these units can't push in. The outposts will take out any of these infantry that move in. You know, uh, running could be uh, making... Well, you know, he doesn't have access to the cauldron. So maybe that's what's going on. Is the cauldron just is the answer to countering Chinese artillery late game. Very, very methodical push here. And ladies and gentlemen, I do think this is what we're going to see. An outpost creep from Fitzy here. If you followed Fitzy here, he's a professional gamer. Not only is he Overwatch Pro, but he played StarCraft 2, was in the Grandmasters, uh, top 200 for a long time with Overwatch. And what civilization did he play? He played the Zerg. He is very used to doing creep-like activity, which I see him doing with these outposts at the moment. How many Eco Boys? We're looking at 115 for Fitzy here uh, versus... The, both players sitting on exactly 115. Interesting. You decide that's the count. That's what they're doing. Oh, one goal ring going down to a shot. Springles on the back line. I don't know how running is planning on beating this. I, I honestly think that running in with some explosive ships could be a, a good bet, but they'll probably get destroyed at this point. Okay, there we go. Bombard's taking down that tower. One shot. And now, uh, starting to work on those culverins. Uh, boy, boy, we got a lot of culverins going down. Uh, and those uh, Fire Lancers running in. Holy cow. Fitzy here's uh, culverins have been completely wiped out by these Lancers. I'm glad to see he's finally moved off of the Spearmen. Um, and uh, running, getting his first like military victory, I feel like, uh, for quite some time. But still running into Bombards, taking a lot of damage as he moves in here. The Culverin's outrange. So the Clock Tower Bombards have 12 tile range compared to... No, they do not outrange. Interesting. The unit that's supposed to counter the Bombard does not outrange it. <laughs> Classic AOE4. So that's what we're looking at here. Um, it Man, what a fight here. What a fight. A lot of men have been lost here at the river. The great battle of the... What map is this again? <laughs> Mongolian Heights. I don't know what the name of this river is. We should name the river. What should we name the river? Okay, so we've got Spearman uh, trying to hit those horsemen. Meanwhile, Fizzy here, uh, low on gold. Take a look at that. Uh, it looks like he invested in all his culverins. Maybe because he just rebopped all of his culverins. So he's saving his gold, spending uh, his gold on culverins and using his food and wood for the horsemen. Meanwhile, that's almost 30k food in the bank. Uh, he may want to re-macro maybe to some wood even. I don't know. That's a lot of food. Blood River is uh, the submission right now for the name. I think that would be a good a good name for sure, but no blood. Curious enough, uh, these troops have di all died a humane death. 
uh, because this is a, a G-rated uh, battle of the Blood River. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, more spearmen being made. Uh, Colburn's just sitting back. I don't know what his war plan is right now. Uh, I, I really don't. Um, how is he going to push out? Uh, okay, Horse, Fire Lancers uh, charging in, uh, picking off these uh, these Colburn. Now, mind you, these Colburns are a thousand res apiece when he loses these. Oh, only one did go down, though. So this is a, a pretty good battle for Fitzy here. Uh, was able to hold us. Look at the stock of the uh, the resources right now. Uh, Fitzy here's got 27 food versus... Uh, just kind of across the board, doing pretty good. Running actually ahead in the gold count right now. Uh, no more raiding. Let's see, has he shored up that eastern front? He did put a castle down, but did not wall. Okay, so <laughs> holy cow. So if you guys ever wondered, how do you counter uh, China's uh, clock tower siege units? Uh, the answer, uh, apparently, according to Fitzy here, is 16 culverins. Do you guys know how much res that costs? A lot of res. Trying to build a palisade wall, because why not? In come the fire lancers. But they're they're falling back into these these outposts, which are all have cannon in place. So oh, mine is that one. So uh, it's just taking. Look at all the gunpowder. You know, China's supposed to be the gunpowder sieve, but look at all this. Look at all the smoke flares. Holy cow! And honestly, guys, the only reason his gold count is low is because he just keeps producing these culverins. Okay, now look at these mighty farms of China. Look at them across the top of the hills. Very beautiful. A scenic place to be farming, uh, no doubt. I hear uh, gunpowder off in the distance. We must get back. Uh, a little palisade wall. I do not know why. Maybe just to stop the charge just for uh, anything but a second. But a bombard <laughs> will clear this out. Uh, what is he doing? Come on, Fancy here. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, uh, here come the Bombards. They're going to take out that wall in about... There you go. Not sure what his plan was with that wall. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, so meanwhile, we've got uh, Horsemen, Culverin, and Towers engaging uh, these charging Fire Lancers. One Culverin goes down. Two Culverins go down. Three Culverins go down. Each of those is a 1,000 res, ladies and gentlemen. That is... Uh, 4,000 resources wiped out there by this Lancer charge, but he did lose these Lancers. How much does it cost to create a Fire Lancer? Uh, 80 food, 20 wood, and 20 gold. So rather low uh, cost, uh, all things considered. Um, knights. Does he have Knights? I don't think he has Knights. Those were Fire Lancers. Yeah. Hey, these are just Horsemen. He's running around. He loves to use Horsemen because he's saving his gold for Culverins. Um, man, how are they going to break this? Guys, if you were in these players' shoes, how would you break this battle? I feel like they, they can't even afford a, a, a wonder right now. Although he does have 34k food in the bank. I don't know who's going to win. We need... Oh, man. I really don't... I, I have no idea how this is going to end. Like, it just keeps being back and forth here at this river. Horsemen moving over to the east side uh, to meet the, uh, the uh, horsemen that have crossed the river. Um, capturing the sacred site. Um, it does look like two bombards are here too. So he is uh, committing to taking out this keep, going out and going to be hitting the gold line of running. Um, now, uh, looks like a trade. Does he have any trade going on right now? He does have some caravans going out there, bringing back trade. Um, but meanwhile, these bombards getting run up on by these fire lancers and will be going down um, and just doing some raiding. You know, there's not going to be a ton of raiding that's going to actually happen here. We've got defensive structures just about everywhere. But then a push, a happening mid. Here we go. How many bombards do we have? We have 11 culverins, some man-at-arms. Uh, but how is he going to take out this keep? I think he needs some bombards, which he does not currently have. Oh, Fitzy here definitely uh, knows everything about doing trash armies. He's been making horsemen the entire game. Okay, so these culverins are uh, slowly pushing out. Bombards have moved back. I always think they look so cool when they're set up. These are just, just such a cool unit. Um, okay, being repaired actually right now by these villagers. Um, but uh, Fire Lancer's trying to charge in, uh, but getting kind of gummed up there uh, in the river. Uh, Let's hope they brought their life jackets because someone might fall in that river right now. Uh, we got some call, uh, bombards moving back, but it does look like Fitzy here is breaking through. He's broken the line. Uh, but China is going to be flooding units in from all these military buildings, no doubt. 
Uh, and these Qualifiers just continuing just to snipe units, essentially. Um, interesting he's not putting, like, at least, like, one trebuchet or something in the mix here. Oh, there we go. One Bombard coming up. And he's just hit uh, almost zero gold there, so spinning all of his gold. Um, you can see his front line of units was wiped out uh, by China's Bombards, his towers, etc. Um, but I feel like you can see here might slowly... Uh, <laughs> be working away. Somebody in chat says Kettle Corn River. <laughs> in honor of the popcorn, Kettle Corn River. Yeah, delete the. Does he want to delete that wall? I guess he could. Sometimes the stone walls give you defense, but maybe it's hurting him. I don't know. But uh, the Fire Lancers, I mean, I, I can't even tell what's happening. There's so much smoke, uh, so much carnage. There's. Things are dying. Troops are certainly dying here. I, I think. Fire Lancers are being hit by these horsemen and men at arms, and the Cauldron have, have microed back. Now, look at the gold count, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, running has just about exhausted his gold. Uh, he has only 200 left here, doing some trading, but uh, does look like doing it. I, I wonder, like, is this going to come into play here? Is he going to run out of gold here over time? Um, and just wear him down. Going, it looks like building a uh, a uh, stone wall tower, uh, which will have a little ballista uh, emplacement there, sprinkled emplacement. Uh, meanwhile, just continuing to train this horseman. He's got plenty of food and wood. Now, when you look at what he's training, right? Horseman, he's got a lot of food in the bank. But these horsemen cost 100 food, 20 wood. So if you look at the kind of the split here, it's like kind of perfect to infinitely produce uh, these horsemen right now. Um, and he's got his cauldrons. He's largely kept a siege alive. And it doesn't look like here is breaking through. Um, I thought we might have uh, an ongoing stalemate, but this is starting to look to turn in the favors. But uh, it's hard to say right now. Um, nothing going on anywhere else on the map at the moment. Uh, just booming, training of units, uh, just the flood continuing. Um, how does running stop this uh, siege? Now, running, also an experienced player. If we recall the ELOs of this player, running is ranked ahead of Fitzy here on the ladder by quite some uh, some ELO, as I understand. Um, so uh, Fitzy here really taking him to task right now and uh, breaking through at the moment. <laughs> this is going and going and going. Oh, uh, we're at the 42-minute mark, and uh, I, I feel like this is the first uh, uh, development we've seen. Fitzy here is kind of just remassing, backing up, and slow pushing. With Okay, we do have some Bombards in here with Cauldrons. Bombards accidentally getting on the front line, or maybe he wanted to. He wants to take out this keep. Um, Resource-wise, everyone still has resources. Um, we do have Fire Lancers. Or are these Fire Lancers or these Horsemen? Those are Fire Lancers. They look exactly the same as Horsemen. That always confuses me. Do they not? I mean, they, these units look identical. Okay, so it uh, looks like we have some spearmen and uh, man of arms in here. The infantry of the, of the Holy Roman Empire are a force to be reckoned with. So running cavalry into spearmen and man of arms, not the best. And there we go, the creep uh, starting the outpost on the other side of the river. He does have a stonewall tower. Um, it looks like this uh, keep is just about dead at the moment. A uh, one clock tower bombard on the back line, taking shots at the uh, at the uh, culverins, but he was able to snipe that even with the villager. <laughs> Look at these villagers, like what? I was preparing, and it looks like Fitzy here is breaking through. GG is called. Holy cow! <laughs> that was certainly uh, a a very long, lengthy stalemate, and I said it right out the beginning of this game. I would not be surprised if this is a long player. I know his play style. He loves to play that late game in China, typically doing the same on a map with a river right down the middle. Holy cow. Let's look at a few of these statistics. Um, so looking over here, looking at the total, all I've heard was like bombard shots for the last 30 minutes. I forgot I even had music on. <laughs> So if we look at this economy, uh, running technically had more food. Fitzy here clearly had on wood, stone, and gold. So just overall really outgathering his opponent despite, uh, let's look at these villager graphs. This is going to be funny. So we remember, you know, even like though running had that early, like multiple town centers, look at this boom from Fitzy here. Holy cow. That was what that age four landmark, uh, he was able to just have a massive boom 
Um, and imagine if he had gotten that gold even sooner uh, from the, that Regis Cathedral. Such a strong landmark. Uh, let's look at the, the, uh, the military count. I mean, it was just like charge of Fire Lancer, charge of Pike. Just like nothing really happening for so long. Score-wise, Fitzy here is basically um, ahead uh, as of uh, that boom he did there in the fourth age. It was, it was clearly ahead the entire time. And absolutely um, a crazy, crazy game. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you come on over to Twitch and hit that uh, that follow button because this has been a fun one to watch live. And if you are on Twitch, make sure you save a little comment that you were there at the Battle of the Blood River, a.k.a. Kettle Corn River, a.k.a. Orville Redenbacher River. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching this cast game between my dear brother Fitzy here and running. And uh, I've got plenty more on the channel. Uh, hope to see you in the next one.